Gonzalez family is hoping someone does the right thing and returns a stolen scooter. Amy DuPont live outside the West Dallas Police Department to explain why this scooter means so much to this family. Amy? Yeah, Ted, that scooter belongs to a disabled woman, and for her, it really isn't just a scooter. It is her link to the world outside her home, and so far, police have been unable to help her. On a warm spring day, Nancy Tishko would do anything to walk a mile in someone else's shoes. I come out of the door and I have to sit down. In fact, the 58 year old would settle for a few footsteps. My, my legs just don't. Severe arthritis and neuropathy keep Nancy nearly confined to her West Dallas home. Freedom in the form of her car is just 35 feet from her door. But Nancy can't get there. This has just been horrible, mm -hmm. horrible for her. The disabled nurse relied on a scooter to take her to and from her vehicle until Saturday afternoon. Broad daylight. When a thief stole the scooter and with it, Nancy's independence. I don't want to say a lifeline, but it kind of sort of is. But this is where she keeps it. Nancy and her sister Mary believe the thief put the scooter in the back of a truck and drove off. The thief can't ride it because Nancy has the only key. Do the right thing and bring it back. Mm -hmm. I mean, drop it off when nobody can see you. Mm -hmm. You obviously took it when nobody could see you. <sighs> but she needs it. Mm -hmm. And she's homebound without it. Now, West Dallas police at this point is late as this afternoon. No leads, no suspects. As you heard, the family just desperately wants the scooter back again. Uh, no picture of the scooter. It's a couple years old, but it does have a blue or excuse me. It's blue with the Harley Davidson tattoo on the back. If you've seen it, give West Dallas police a call. For now, we are live in West Dallas. Amy DuPont, Fox 6 News. You know, the ramp stolen last week from the young man who needed that ramp to get in and out this this week. I mean, people mm -hmm. need to think about what they're doing, Amy. Yeah, there are no victimless crimes, Ted, especially in this case. I mean, really, without that scooter, she is isolated. Imagine it's been a long winter. It's finally nice out, and still she is stuck inside her home. So if the thieves don't have a change of heart, it'd be nice if our Fox 6 viewers could come, come out and help her as well. Let's hope the former happens before we need the latter. All right, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.